Today we make a deer dish. And then um, the first of all, we uh, use this uh, bacon and cut a small piece and fry. And then we fry the meat. And then this cut a slice and then fry with the bacon. I use the brown cheese from Norway. And then we use the, the herbs, it's a demon. And uh, we as this uh, with the meal, deer meal with that uh, broccoli fry with the garlic. Uh, with the deer meat, uh, we use mashed potatoes with the cream. I do not uh, use the butter, but I use the cream. And then when we eat a deer meat, uh, usually we use, we use the cranberry used for the sauce around one or two tablespoons. Uh, make a mashed potatoes, I would like to cut a small piece, easy to mash. Maybe before I uh, cook, maybe a lot of work, but after cooked, and then less work. I cut a small cube. Ah, uh, you can cut a small a uh, center of a slice uh, as much uh, the way you want but uh, I would like to cut a smaller cube When you're cooking potatoes, use cold water, not a boiling water. Well, uh, we were cooking the potato. Meantime, we have prepared uh, all the rest of the dish. We cut a book wood. So, then we cut like, uh, like a three piece. And just we like this. This a little bit big, then we cut a full piece. It's like this So I cut mushroom like a slice, like this thick one. Do not uh, so thinner cut it. So cut this thickening. Uh, we use six about.
So now we use uh, that much half of a package bacon and then we cut a slice like this slice so when you cut it uh, to get uh, separate a little bit Cooking may be too much work, but uh, when you fry, it's much easy to get a good result. So we use this cheese. How about this? Uh, use this uh, cheese cutter. It's so like this for three four to six piece to use for the sauce. But uh, if your local shop do not available this kind of cheese, then you just use for the soup cheese. So we use this juniper. If you have, um, if you have, then it should get a little bit this way, that way, get all the flavor out. And then the same time you can put in a few holes around that amount. Then I can put in here. Uh, we use timian and then we cut this a little bit for the decoration use at the top. I put in here. Then I cut more for the dish use. Then it's a cooking thing here and put in here. Okay. I prepared all the dish and now we are cut some garlic for the fried bokuri. This meal with uh, the two enough. this way. So this more easy peel. Just chop the smaller piece. Then I put in here. Since we are prepared for this uh, Nordic meal, so we use uh, Norwegian porcelain and then uh, Swedish porcelain and the Finnish knife. So now we have uh, cooked the potato done. We close the stove and then we pour the water away. Well, then we pour here.
So we uh, mash the potatoes, and then you can use uh, this one, or you can use uh, the all kind of wood too. It's much easy for you. And then uh, I have not used a traditional uh, mashed potato too. You can make a very fun, this uh, smooth mashed potatoes. You can uh, have uh, some kind of uh, small pieces. And then that uh, two different option to make mashed potatoes. We pour the cream for about uh, two deciliters. We have a, a, about uh, this six big potatoes. So we mixed with this, whether this wood spoon or whether with the, the rubber spoon. So whether you use this tool to uh, make it, and then I like uh, some kind of small pieces of potatoes. Then is uh, when you eat is I feel better the way to make mashed potatoes. In this amount of um, potatoes, I would say putting four to five grams of salt. And if you don't have a measurement, then you use that uh, teaspoon or half tablespoon in a way. So. Remember, do not put in too much salt. And then I'm putting a lot, about three grams of white paper. Must be white paper. The flavor different with the black paper. Uh, when you make uh, mushroom potatoes, it's very important to get the cream flavor out and also the paper flavor out. We use uh, the um, vinegar. So whether you use uh, apple vinegar or the grape vinegar, uh, I prefer use uh, grape vinegar. If you don't have those, then you just use the normal white vinegar. Or if you don't have a vinegar at home, so you have a lemon, you just put in few drops of uh, lemon juice. So I would say that here I put in not much, um, about um, two drops. You do not uh, taste vinegar at all, but the rest of the, the flavor will be the show up. And when you taste uh, very delicious. So I pour uh, about uh, one and a half uh, tablespoon of oil. And then I pour broccoli. You need a washed. Try this one. Usually people first the poaching with the water for the one minute but I am doing that way easy for you and you don't need the uh, uh, whole hand to poaching with the water and then you just have a uh, putting oil and the product um, uh, hopefully and then you just put in some salt and fry, stir a little while. And then you pour, um, here is a two deciliter water, and then 
you can put in one deciliter or one and a half deciliter. I'm here putting one and a half deciliter. Depend how much the broccoli you have fry. So if you want more water, you can put in more water. We call this way the oil with the water poaching. Shio. That means that we do not put in too much the water because uh, when the water is uh, boiling the away, so then the broccoli has been cooked. Now I put the garlic here. And uh, stir. And then at the same time, I uh, get uh, some uh, black pepper. If you want a white paper, also okay. Without paper, okay too. Now it's done already. We closed and get out. Also a very healthy way to do this dish. Now we started to fry. We first fry with the bacon. And pour a little bit of oil. Stir. And um, almost uh, halfway, we pour all the mushroom. Stir together. Add a little more of you. And uh, fry it well, then remove out the to the kettle. And then we use uh, now is the high power to fry deer meat. You need to uh, pour a little bit of oil and a very hot pan and to fry, get the meat to dry the moisture or liquid or moisture or dry. And until the fry pan is dry, remove out to the kettle. Remember, you need to separate the fry is get the meat to dry the flavor better. Otherwise, a very strong of deer meat smell. So we uh, fry separate for a few times and uh, remove to kettle and then uh, mix it together and then we add the junior. and black paper. And then we mixed. And then we added then we added the cream. We added the four this liter cream. When you are putting cream, you need heat lower. And now we add a crown fish.
for two deciliters. And we add uh, a Norwegian uh, brown cheese, about three to four piece, add the meat. And we need to have a cranberry, about one or two tablespoon. And mix it together. And we added the uh, demia. If you like it's the flavor, you add more. If you don't like, then add a small amount. When, when I got all the seasoning already, and then you need to taste the salt enough or not. So if not, and you put in a little bit of salt. And then, um, after sitting, everything's okay, you taste, and then simmer until 10 minutes. Then this dish done. You remove to serve the table. Hope you are enjoying this meal.